So today we are going to show you how to get your P-SPICE schematic ready for PCB manufacturing. Um, the first step is going to be get rid of the ground and get rid of the voltage source. Once this is done, uh, we're going to go to here and you're going to add jump to from your library. And now we're going to go and access all the footprints of these components to make sure that they will convert to PCB designer. All of your resistors are going to say res 400 just like this. All of the electrolytic capacitors are going to say 196. And all of the diodes will be cap 300. And for transistors, they should have the footprint for you when you open them. They're TO92. For op amps, same deal. It's going to give you the footprint for you. And for non electrolytic capacitors, you're going to do cap 300. And for the jumper, you're just going to want to make sure it says jumper 2. Now that we have all of our footprints um, accounted for, we can now start to uh, annotate it. And I deleted all the uh, pieces up here just because they weren't in the circuit and they weren't doing anything. You're not going to want to have anything floating around like that. So you're going to want to have this page one highlighted, and you're going to go to Tools, Annotate. Just press OK. Yes. And then you're going to go to Tools, Design Rules, Check. And you're going to want to make sure Run Electrical Rules is selected, and you want to make sure this is being routed to the folder that your PCB, or your um, PSPICE files are in. And now we can create a netlist, and you're going to want to make sure this is checked, and press OK. If there are some warnings, um, there should be, since there is no ground. Um, technically, you are creating a netlist in PSPICE as well as for the PCB board. So as long as there's no errors, warnings are something that you can deal with. And you're going to want to open up Allegro PCB Designer. So then now that this window opens up, we're going to go to Setup, Outline, Design Outline. And this is going to create the dimensions of your board. You're going to click this little button right here for a place rectangle and for these each thousand mil is one inch so for this one we're just going to do two by two inches so that would be two thousand by two thousand and then we're going to change this to 100 and then once that's right you don't have to click any buttons here you can just go ahead and place it Now, as you can see, we have the layout for the PCB. Now that we have our design outline ready, we can go ahead and start placing our parts on the PCB board. And by doing that, you just go to place manually, and you should pop up with this window. And you're going to click this box right up here. And this will allow you to place your parts. And you can obviously use more organization than I'm using now. There we go. And you're going to hit close. So now we're going to route the PCB schematic. And by doing that, you're going to go to 
route, PCB router, and then route to automatic. And you're going to make sure use smart router is selected. And then go ahead and click route. This should just take a second. So as you can see, the automatic router kind of made everything a lot more neat with these um, route lines. Um, next we're going to start to make the Gerber files, which you're just going to go to manufacture artwork. And first thing we're going to do is add manual. You're going to right click this top tab. And we're going to type in solder mask top. And the files that we'll be adding will be solder mask top in under board geometry. Print. Solder mask top under package geometry. Solder mask top under pin. And then solder mask top under via class. So we should have these four files in here neatly. And next, we're going to just do the same thing with solder mask bottom. And all of these are going to be in the same folders I just listed. Like geometry. And pin, solder mask bottom. Be a class, solder mask bottom. Let me just double check. Cool. So now we should have both of these having the those four files in each folder. Once the uh, artwork is done, you can just press OK in that window. And now you're going to go to Manufacturing, Auto Select Top. And you're just going to make sure this little button is green right here. Just make sure it's enabled. And then we're going to go to Manufacturing, Silk Screen. And so in this Auto Silk Screen window, we're going to want to make sure device type it says none, tolerance it says none, user part it says none. This involves like labeling on the PCB board and minimum line length is going to be 8. Element to pad clearance is going to be 5. And then you can go ahead and just click the silk screen. So next we're going to add another artwork folder. And we're going to call it silk screen top. And in this folder, we're adding manufacturing um, auto silk top. And board geometry. Silk screen top, package geometry, silk screen top, and ref does silk screen top. And there it should be. And we're going to press, press OK. So now, next step is to access this options tab right on the right. Make sure manufacturing is selected and then photoplot outline is selected. And then we're going to want to go to this rectangle tool up here. And we're going to draw a rectangle right tracing those green lines. And we're going to make sure it's enabled with this button. And the next thing to do is to create an artwork folder for photoplot outline. So you just want to go to Add manually and type in photoplot outline. And the only file that's going to be in here is this one in under manufacturing photoplot outline. And we're going to
click OK. So now, next step is to access this Options tab right on the right. Make sure Manufacturing is selected and then Photoplot Outline is selected. And then we're going to want to go to this Rectangle tool up here. And we're going to draw a rectangle right tracing those green lines. And we're going to make sure it's enabled with this button. And the next thing to do is to create an artwork folder for photo plot outline. So you just want to go to add manually and type in photo plot outline. And the only file that's going to be in here is this one in under manufacturing photo plot outline. And we're going to click OK. So now we're going to make the drill legend by going to manufacturing and see drill legend and just press OK and you can place this wherever you'd like. I'm going to put it right there and now we're going to make the drill file go to manufacture NC NC drill. We're going to want the scale factor to be 1 and we're going to want to select auto tool select and separate files for plated non-plated holes and we're going to click drill. So now we're going to generate our artwork files by going to manufacture artwork and in this window we're going to select silk screen top and make sure undefined line, line width is 5 and once that's done we're going to select all of these and we can go ahead and create artwork. So now there's one last thing we should do before we can um, submit our Gerber files and that is to create cut marks and we're going to go to manufacture cut marks and this is, should all be correct 50, 200, and 100 line width and just click apply you should get these little frames right here right when you click apply and then click OK so now that we have the cut marks in we're going to draw the actual cutting path um, for the board to be manufactured and cut correctly. Um, by doing so we're going to go to board geometry and then NC route path and options and we're going to select this add line tool and we're going to make the line width 100 which is the same as the cut marks and so now that we have this done we're just going to click right in the center of this corner here and we're going to create our lines just like this you're going to want them to just be outside of the frames and there we go and we can right click and click done and now we have our cut lines inserted so next we want to go to manufacturing and see route and this is going to generate our route file and we're just going to click route and then OK. So now that all of these files have been generated, we can actually go into our Allegro folder, which is the folder that Keyspice made for us when we um, created into Netlist, and we can actually check and see if all of our artwork files are in here. Um, I can, so far I can see all these, the top, and I think I saw the bottom up here. And then another required one is the drill file right here, the DRL. And the other one is the route file. So it all looks okay. So we're going to, I've compressed this folder right here. And we're going to go online to JLC PCB, which is a PCB manufacturer. And they have a Gerber keyer for 
is a link that we're going to just throw our compressed folder in and see if this website will generate our PCB. So now it shows us with the, these two little pictures of our PCB here. And we're going to go to Gerber View to check if our files have been loaded correctly. Um, so as you can see here, if we go to analysis results, there are no warnings. Um, these yellow exclamation points mean that these files um, were not submitted. Um, and these green ones means that they were submitted. Um, as you can tell, the thrill files here and the route file is not in green also, which I wouldn't be too alarmed for that by that because of it, it's right here. And we've come to realize that without this file, um, there are errors in the analysis results. But as you can see here, it doesn't say any errors. So you can just go ahead and order this PCB if you'd like. And that's pretty much it.